Okay, we have something interesting here today. We've got the integral from zero to one of one over one plus x dx. And what I wanna show is this integral is actually the same thing as the alternating harmonic series, which has the value of natural log of two. This is kind of follow up on a video we did not too long ago, which was really similar. It was just x cubed, different numerator, over one plus x dx. And when we did this one, we saw part of the alternating harmonic series solution was, I think it was five, six minus ln over two or ln two. And what this five, six represents is terms stripped out of the alternating harmonic series. And there was something in the comments from David Kravitz. I'm not sure if this is exactly what he meant, but the idea is that with this integral, we could show the value of the alternating harmonic series is natural log of two. And the relation here is just, if you take this one and we rewrite this, one can be written as x to the zero. So it's like when we have something like x cubed in the numerator, we get a variation on this. But if we go to an exponent of zero, then we get back the whole alternating harmonic series. So let's see how this is going to work. The thing where, where I want to start from is just with our geometric series, we know that for one over one minus x, this is going to be the same thing as the sum from zero to infinity of x to the n when absolute value of x is less than one. But I want to change this slightly for our problem because we don't have we don't have one over one minus x, we actually have one over one plus x. So let's change this to a plus, but I'm gonna write it a little differently. How I want to do this is let's write this as minus minus x. So we're like inputting this into our geometric series. Then we need this to be a minus right here. But then we can rewrite this and break this up a little differently. We can write this as minus one to the n times x to the n. Now for our convergence, technically we need a minus sign in here, but because we've got absolute value, that doesn't even matter. So we just need absolute value of x to be less than one. That's no problem because of our bounds. Our bounds have our x values always between zero and one. So this piece is true. And what that allows me to do is take our whole integral and just substitute in this series. So when we do that, we're still integrating from zero to one. We have this sum of minus one to the n, x to the n, dx. And then all I wanna do is let's reverse the order of the sum and the integral. The reason I can do that, because we have our absolute convergence, so that allows me to make this switch. So let's rewrite, now we can integrate. But the nice thing about that is it's gonna be easy to integrate. This is just gonna be power rule because n's a constant. So we'll go ahead and integrate, but let's first, let's bring our minus one to the n up front. That's just a constant here. Integral of x to the n is gonna be x to the n plus one over n plus one evaluated from zero to one. When you plug in zero, it's just gonna be zero. You plug in one, this is gonna simplify down. We'll put our minus one to the n in the numerator. One to the n plus one is just one, so we get minus one to the n over n plus one. Then on this thing, let's just do an index change. I can subtract one from n, subtract one from n, but then here we just need to add one. But here, plus one, minus one, that's just zero, so we'll get rid of that. Here, I'm gonna change the minus one to a plus one just because it's usually written that way, not that it really matters. And, and the reason I can do that is because on a minus one, it's just the parity that's gonna matter, so I can always add two to it or subtract two, so that's fine. And then what you'll notice, this right here, this is exactly the alternating harmonic series. This is exactly the same as this if you just plug in terms one at a time, starting where n equals one, you'll get back exactly this. Now, the only thing is we haven't shown, we've just shown that our integral equals this. We haven't shown yet that it's natural log two. But to show that it's natural log two, we've got a really easy way to do that because we can just do this integral the normal way. Like if you were just in class, calc two, we can just integrate this. Integral of dx over one plus x, natural log absolute value one plus x, X is always positive, so we're just gonna drop the absolute value on it. Put in parentheses, evaluate from zero to one. Plug in one, we get natural log of two. Plug in zero, we get natural log of one. Natural log of one is just nothing, so for the solution of this, we just get natural log of two. Same as this. And so by doing the integral two different ways, we show that the alternating harmonic series is just equal to natural log of two. Okay, there you go, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.